All right. It's 11, 19 a.m. Sunday, September 2nd, 2018, Eastern Standard Time. This is for Coinbase Pro, because I don't know if I'm getting through to you guys explaining to this over the phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you a link to the YouTube. And you can see it. Now, what's happening here is you got... Well, you just seen it's 2069. He just he took it off because he knows the price is going to go up. Because people are stacking above him. You'll see his 2069, which you just seen him talk off, it's up here. So he said, why risk my coin when somebody else will do it for me? Probably embedded in here. But we just seen it anyway. You can review the deal you know, if you watch the beginning. You can actually see that trades there. Now what's happening is that he's kettling the price between those two trades. Right? So when he wants the price to go down, he moves this down. And he moves the corresponding trade that you just seen disappear down. But that's not necessary because somebody put it in a buy for 2509. So he knows the price isn't going to go below that. He knows to get set to raise the price. So he doesn't need to keep his sell wall up there. Let's take a look at the aggregation. Maybe he'll be able to spot it. No. So you've seen it at the beginning. He took it off because somebody else has got him covered. So that's how he's manipulating the price by keeping it between these light trades. And don't worry, I have plenty of videos. The beginning of this video plus multiple other videos showing those two sell walls with the exact same number being used to kettle the price. And after he kettles the price where he wants it, he puts his orders within that range. Then he squeezes the price by moving this uh, sell wall down. People start, start dumping into these buys. They're panicking. They think it's going to crash. He gets it. Then he does the reversal. He moves the price back up. He moves this high of 68, whatever. And then he takes his buy wall. He pushes that up. So it puts it, re, it puts it in the higher range. People buy his coins that he's selling in, within the range. He makes a profit. He lowers it down. Starts to print. Dumps, dumps, in, dumps it all. Lowers the price down. Buys it back cheaper. Begins the whole process. He cycles it through using these D cell walls. So it's very easy to see what he's doing. Now he he's uh, selling the coin that he bought down here by raising these cell walls up in, in value, raising it up in the higher value. Now people are buying the coin that he bought down here. He's selling it to him. After he's done selling his coin, now he wants to buy more. He takes the sell wall, drops it down, takes the sell wall, drops it down, kettles the price lower. People start selling lower. He has his orders all in there. At the lower price, people sell to him. Then he moves his sell walls back up at a higher price. It's that easy to see. He does it all the time. And, and the number that he's using his cell walls, you could identify them, is 2,069. He removed the one that was off the bottom. You could see it at the beginning of this video that I'm sending the link. When you watch it, go to the there, it's there. It was below this, this 2,509. It was there. So you could see it. So let's get to work and send it to you now.